What's up, y'all? Um, welcome to Rooftop Ministries. I don't have a meal really prepared for y'all. I'm still working on the sermon. But when it comes, you'll enjoy it. Um, you know, we I've been seeing a lot of stuff on Facebook about you can't be mean to people and worship God at the same time or treat others ugly. I don't know how many people out there who've been church hurt. They've been treated badly by Christians. You know, and they're like, oh, I don't want to be one of those Christians. Christianity ain't real for them. I mean, they a bunch of mean people. There are people who've been like, work at restaurant and waiting in service industry that says, some of the rudest crowd they have is Sundays after church. Which is sad. That's not what Jesus called us to be. That's not what Christians are called to be. You know, the bickering in church, a lot of bickering and arguing in churches, people not getting along. You know, Paul addressed it in Philippians 2. And verse 15 says, So you will, he said, Do all, well, I'll go back to 14. Do all things without complaining or arguments. That right there, I think a lot of us fall short. So that you will prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent, children of God, above reproach in the midst of, of a crooked and perverse generation. Some translations say a dark generation. Among whom you appear as light in the world, holding firmly the word of life so that on the day of Christ I can take pride because I did not run in vain nor labor in vain. So, if Paul is actually referring to some comments Jesus made in Matthew 5, which I'm going to read, and he is saying, I mean, he said the world was dark then. It's probably it's a whole lot worse now whole lot worse and he was saying then we should they should be the light are we and the thing is are you being a light we are to be a light in this dark world where things are evil bad not going on things going that just really corrupt you know our government and media is pushing stuff as normal that is totally against the Bible and that is wrong saying things are okay that the Bible says it's a sin like, you know I'm not going to get in all of them but there's many so this world is really dark And even in the, among Christians, I know a lot of people who, I say, turned left the church, left Christianity, because Christians were doing things just as bad as the world was. We are to be set apart. The Holy Spirit sets us apart from God. That is what sanctification means. It's a process from when you accept Christ until you die. And and that will be in the sermon I'm writing is being set apart we're different we're not like the rest people should see the way you live as Paul says and know that you are Christians that you are a follower of Christ Jesus said in Matthew 5 14 you are the light of the world a city set on a hill cannot be hidden nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Your light must shine before people in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. You don't put light, you know that, I remember that song, This Little Light of Mine, I'm gonna let it shine. And there's a part in about, do I put it underneath the bushel? No. 
we have to let our light shine for God. We need to be different. Don't we can't be judging people because of the way they look and be mean to them. You know, people come from your church that don't fit the Christian status quo. And as you can tell, I don't fit the the Christian status quo. But I let my light shine. Well, I do my best to let my light shine. I, it, 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 sometimes it flickers and gets dim. You know, and it, it happens with us all. So I'm still, God's still working on me. I'm still undergoing this process of sanctification. You know, we are to let our light shine. And we are a city on a hill. We are the you know, here in Eastern North Carolina, you go to our Outer Banks, is we have lighthouses. You know, some of the most famous ones in the nation, actually, is Cape Hatteras and Ocracoke, Cape Fear, those lighthouses. I'm not Cape, Cape Lookout. And the light is real high in the lighthouse that shines throughout the coast. So the, the ships could see coming in, be guided in by the lighthouse. The, the ocean across there and the, the entrance to our thing, into the state, to the rivers, is known as the graveyard of the Atlantic. There is full of ships that have shunk, um, sunk. Um, if you ever watch um, Wicked Tuna Out of Banks, it has shown how treacherous that can be, that area can be. And this world is very treacherous and dangerous. And we are to be the light to lead people to God. We, we, they are to see God in us. He is in us. The Holy Spirit is in us. And we should let Him shine through us. Put it high so the world can see us and guide the world. Let the world see you. It is very important. And don't act not better, higher, mighty, and better than anyone else because you're a Christian. And try to make everybody else look bad. Just live your life according to the Word of God. Let the Holy Spirit live through you. Let him have control of you and let God live through you. You know, that's why God sent us the Holy Spirit. He's our helper. And he lives through us and he's a witness through us. He is the light. You just got to let him shine through you. You know, it can be difficult. There are days that it's difficult that I can't want to cut the light off, and I probably do. This is bad, and I got to remember, are they seeing Christ in me? You know, Colossians, I believe it's Colossians 3.21, let me find it. farther okay verse 23 whatever you do do your work heartily as for the Lord and not for people knowing that it is from the Lord you will receive your reward or inheritance it is the Lord whom you serve um, there's and I probably, it's probably actually in Corinthians what the verse I was thinking of it says do all things to the glory of God Um, that's the verse I was thinking of, not in the Colossians. And the thing is, what you is what you're doing, the way you're living, before you make any decision, before you react to anything, is it going to glorify God? Our light should be glorifying God. Let your light shine, so people see God's glory and His love. You know, is. 
and I quote this verse all the time, many times, and from John 16, when it says, they will know you're my disciples by the way you love one another. They is letting the light shine. If someone disagrees with, if you disagree with someone, don't cause a ruckus. Talk to them one on one, brother to brother, with love. For Colossians, Colossians also says, speak one another with grace. Show grace and love. And when you share the gospel, don't say, um, trying to be forceful to them and pushy. Be great. Show them. Speak with them to them with grace and love and understanding and patience. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button, which is the thumbs up to this and like like the video, share it. Uh, we're trying to build this ministry so the more you share it the more it gets out and we really want to reach the laws uh, we have been having things going on lately that just been keeping us doing videos we're trying to get back on track i'm about to start working on my master thesis and so when i'm reading something find something that's enlightening i will try to drop a video and share it as a little snack and just try, and trying to encourage you, trying to reach the laws, trying to find something to help you grow. And we do this because we, I mean, we love y'all, and we really want to feed you God's word. So until next time, um, keep watching, keep sharing, keep liking. Please subscribe. See you later. Bye.